if that's not quite here yet. Well, have not you ever yet. wondered what it would be like to have your own action figure, or how about maybe like a Christmas ornament that you can hang from your tree that looks just like you? Something like a bobblehead, you know? Yeah. Well, there's a new business in Carmel that can create a mini version of you. And believe me, I've seen them. They're extremely lifelike. So Carlos Diaz is here to explain how this works. We made a mini Anne Marie, a mini <laughs> Carlos, and a mini Scott Swan. It's called Snap 3D in Carmel. They're the, uh, they've only been in business for a short time, but they're already hoping to revolutionize the portrait photography business. Watch. This is the future right here. Rod Wisenauer and his wife Shelby are bringing the future to Carmel with Snapped 3D, Indiana's first 3D photography studio that literally creates a mini you by using state-of-the-art technology. The technology people haven't seen, I can explain it to people. They'll nod their head and they'll say how great they think it is. When they see it, it's a complete different experience. Just step inside the $30,000 image capturing room, which is straight out of Star Trek. How many cameras are in here, by the way? There's 120 cameras. There's about 80 digital cameras. And then there's also cameras that are projectors. These projectors are going to throw out a grid when it takes the picture, so that's how it knows the depth. Then a computer links all of the photos together to form a 3D image, and the detail is stunning. It's going to have the logos on your jeans. If you have you know, tennis shoes, it's going to show the logo on your tennis shoes. So if a kid comes in and he has Colts across the front of his chest, you'll be able to read them. Definitely. And yeah. if he has his name on the back, you can read his name. Uh, can we just do a little uh, alteration right through here? A little bit. They can take a little <laughs> off. You have more hair than I do, so you don't really need hair at it. So why do you need a 3D image of yourself? Wedding toppers, graduations, your team wins the tournament. Get them all in here, get their uh, images done, put them on a trophy. People want it to have their dogs done, to have their cats done. Grandchildren with grandma and grandpa. Anything you'd want a picture for, it would translate to this as well. And about a week after my 3D photo shoot, my mini Carlos was ready to be unveiled. Oh my gosh, I can already see it looks pretty good. Wow. I mean, look at that. Carlos Diaz, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. <laughs> so you can see, I mean, there it is. There's the yeah, mini-me yeah. right here. I don't know if we can zoom in. There we go. Look at that. It's And they do do touch-ups. So that's always nice, uh, okay. you know. So that right there would cost you about $250, okay? So okay. this little, uh, this is, there, there's different sizes. Uh -huh. This is the 8-inch version of me, and this is around $250. You want to hold me? Uh, oh, hold it's me, pretty Anne like, wow. it's, <laughs> and it's made Hold of, me yeah. like a baby. <laughs> it's a, like a little baby. But it's it's made out of sandstone. You can kind of feel the grit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gritty. Yeah, exactly. In a cool um, way, yeah. But there are several applications that you could do this. Like I said, I mean, if you have, you know, uh, a, a relative, you know, yeah. um, that you want to keep around forever, you know, right. you do it like that. I'm actually going to South Korea, you know, for the Olympics. I'll be gone for a month. I'll show that to my son. And like, here you go. You yeah. can have daddy in your hand. Here's daddy. By the way, I showed it to my two year old son. He went, he looked at, he looked at the doll, uh -huh. looked at me, looked at the doll, looked at me. And he was like, oh, this is too weird for me. So yeah. Uh, yeah. But you can see it's right there. And so coming up at 6.15, we have Anne Marie and Scott Swan taking the Snap 3D test. You can see that coming up at 6.15. Yes, I remember when you said, hey, I'm working on a story. Are you going to help me out with this? And I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> I really didn't know what all was involved. So, <laughs> yeah, I would have been a little more reluctant, but it's interesting. You're going to want to see that coming yeah. up next hour. Yeah. All, right. all right. Thank you, Carla. Well,